Welcome to our tutorial on the removal solid command. I've got the front end of this box right here. Here's the rear end in my second open cat part document. What I want to do is create openings between these two boxes. Uh, right about here. Let's select window. Switch back to the front part. I'm going to create what's known as a removal solid. The first thing to do is insert a body. Insert body. When this body is underlined in the specification tree, that means it's defined as an in-work object. Let's activate the sketch command. Select this face. Now the rectangle tool. Let's drop a rectangle right about here. Dimension it. Actually, I want these openings to be in the middle. I'm going to dimension them from this edge. And the last dimension here from the top. We want these openings to be in the middle, so let's make the dimensions driven by formula. Right click, offset 13, edit formula. It's going to be equal to this dimension, divided by 2. Click OK. And exit the sketch. Now activate the pocket command. Under dimension type, let's choose up to plane. Even though we have the up to next option available, it won't work because this is a different body. And this is the first feature in that body. Let me just demonstrate. If I click up to next, Katia gives me a warning. That's why we'll use up to plane instead. For the limit, I'll select this face. And click OK. Even though this feature looks like a solid, it's actually a pocket. And here we see the pocket icon. When we perform a Boolean operation, or assemble these two part bodies, they'll become one whole, or a removal solid. OK, let's move on. At this point, we are going to right-click, copy, and go to the rear cover of the box. Now let's right-click, paste special. Let's paste as a result with link. Click OK. We've got part body 2 pasted right here. Next, select View, Toolbars, Boolean Operations. With Body 2 selected, let's click Assemble. Body to Assemble 2, the part body, and this feature will be added after Shell 1. Click OK. If I expand Body Part 2, I've got no way to make modifications. It's an imported solid. Let's go back to our front cover. We're going to perform the same operation here. Assemble, part two, to part body. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and edit the sketch. Double click on the sketch to open it. Remember, this dimension is driven by this dimension. When I double-click on the dimension, I'm not able to make edits. Let's cancel. 
I'm going to double click and enter a value of 10 millimeters here. Tab and OK. Let's also change this value to 25 millimeters. Tab and OK. Let's exit the sketch. Obviously, we see some changes here. Let's go to our second document now. We need to update this document. It's red in color. Let's click Update. We see the openings here have changed as well. If we select Edit, Links, we see the new pointed document right here. Click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the Removal Solid command.